the asteroid Apophis now a great threat after all? Scientists had actually given the all clear for the 350 meter chunk of rock that will head toward Earth in April 2029. But now, trajectory expert Paul Weigert has come to the conclusion that, under certain circumstances, we could still be in for a direct hit. But what damage would the impact cause? Could Apophis even become Dino Killer 2.0? Today, we'll show you what needs to happen for Earth to end up in the asteroid's crosshairs and what defensive measures we can take if the worst comes to worst. It is no coincidence that Apophis is called Apophis. After all, we are dealing with the cosmic namesake of the ancient Egyptian god of chaos and destruction, and for good reason. After the asteroid was discovered in 2004, it reached the highest value ever on the Turin risk scale, and at the same time triggered unprecedented media hysteria. Specifically, the massive chunk of rock was immediately suspected of crashing into Earth on April 13th, 2029, a Friday the 13th of all days. In figures, this means that the probability of impact was initially estimated at up to 2.7%, and that applied not only to April 2029, but also to the years 2036 and 2068. But today, almost 25 years after its initial discovery, the tide has long since turned. According to detailed follow-up observations, it's now even considered impossible that we will have an involuntary rendezvous with an asteroid in four years' time. Well, unless something unforeseen happens in the meantime that destroys all our mathematical predictions and Apophis finally does end up on a collision course. However, more precise evaluations of the trajectory have shown that the asteroid will pass close to us in April 2029. Although the word close in this astronomical context still means a distance of around 32,000 kilometers, it will therefore pass below the geostationary orbit, but only if its trajectory remains unchanged. But strictly speaking, it has already changed. Experts actually discovered five years ago that the radiation pressure of the sun shifts Apophis by around 170 meters every year. That's not enough to steer the chunk of rock toward Earth in 2029, but it could become a real problem during one of its later passes. The bottom line is that the radiation pressure of our source of heat and life is not the only factor throwing its hat into the potential impact ring. Paul Weigert from the University of Western Ontario has this to say on the matter. Even the best current projections cannot rule out the possibility that Apophis will be hit by a small asteroid as they regularly hit Earth. And according to the orbital calculation expert, such a collision would not automatically pass the 350-meter chunk without a trace. It could even transfer enough momentum to knock it out of its current orbit. What needs to happen for Apophis to hit Earth? The fact that we cannot even observe the asteroid at present makes the matter no less tricky. It will remain close to the Sun until 2027, which means that even the most powerful telescopes available today will not be able to keep it in sight until then. What will happen in the coming months and years, and whether Apophis might change its trajectory, will therefore only be known at the earliest two years before its first flyby of Earth. Fortunately, however, experts are not completely doomed to wait and twiddle their thumbs in the meantime. After all, they are able to weigh up the risk of the chunk being deflected by April 2029 in model simulations, and that is exactly what Paul Weigert has done. To do this, the astronomer first addressed the question of how large an asteroid would have to be to change the trajectory of the chunk to a dangerous degree in the future. Previous studies have already shown that Apophis's orbit would have to shift sideways by about 200 kilometers to set course for the next keyhole. This refers to a small zone near Earth where our planet's gravitational pull would deflect the asteroid in 2029 far enough that it would collide with us on its next passage in 2036. Weigert concluded that a collision with an object just 60 centimeters in size would be enough to cause this. In detail, the collision would change Apophis's speed by around 3 ten thousandths of a meter per second, causing the required trajectory shift of 200 kilometers. However, significantly more momentum would have to be transferred for the Earth to be in the asteroid's crosshairs as early as April 2029. 
For this to happen, Pophis' speed would have to change by five hundredths of a meter per second, which, according to Weigert, would require a collision with a chunk of rock measuring around 3.40 meters. However, the mere collision would not be enough. It would also have to occur at a very specific time and in the right direction. The crucial question now is how likely these scenarios are. Weigert says that around 140 objects measuring 60 centimeters hit the Earth every year. And in the case of 3.40 meter objects, the average is just one. And if we convert this to the much smaller cross-section of Apophis, the rate decreases accordingly. And the bottom line is that the probability of the asteroid hitting the next keyhole is one in a million. What we can expect in an emergency. The risk of Apophis hitting Earth as early as 2029 is even lower. According to Weigert, the probability is 1 in 100 million. And when you consider that only 5% of these hits would give the asteroid the necessary momentum, the probability drops even further to 1 in 2 billion. It can therefore be concluded that the risk of an impact is very low. But at the same time, very low does not mean zero. And if we simply assume at this point that everything that could possibly go wrong from our point of view actually does go wrong, what would an impact by Apophis mean for Earth and its inhabitants? Could the chunk become Dino Killer 2.0 and unleash an apocalyptic scenario? Fortunately, it's not quite that dramatic, because the asteroid is simply too small for that, with a diameter of 350 meters. However, this does not mean that Apophis would not cause any damage to Earth. Quite the contrary. Experts say that the impact crater alone would devastate an area several kilometers in diameter. At the same time, the force of the impact could be enough to destroy an area the size of Central Europe. In figures, this means that Apophis would release an energy equivalent to 900 million tons of TNT, which in turn is 60,000 times the destructive power of the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. However, to affect the entire surface of the planet, 100 times more energy would be required. However, the exact consequences of the asteroid impact depend primarily on where exactly Apophis hits the Earth. If the chunk crashes into the sea rather than the mainland, it could bury the surrounding coasts under a mega tsunami over 100 meters high. Whether it would really come to that in the worst case scenario is another matter entirely. After all, we should not forget that we are by no means completely defenseless against the threat from space. And although we have not yet been confronted with such an emergency, we have already proven that we are very well capable of responding effectively to a potentially dangerous celestial body. And as you might have guessed, we're talking about the successful DART mission from 2022. Back then, NASA sent the eponymous space probe to the 165 meter wide asteroid moon Dimorphos to manipulate its trajectory in a targeted impact. And it was a success. After DART crashed into the surface with a loud bang, Dimorphos' trajectory around its parent asteroid was demonstrably shortened. The probe battering ram thus proved that it's possible to avert major dangers with relatively small means. While DART itself weighed only 570 kilograms, Dimorphos weighed an impressive 5 billion kilograms. Ultimately, however, the impact was not only sufficient to transfer enough momentum to change the trajectory, but also to eject around 900,000 kilograms of material into space. Some of this could even fall to Earth as shooting stars in the 2030s, giving us the first artificial meteor shower in history. However, what could also come close to our blue home planet in the future is the result of a completely different asteroid impact. Because perhaps we should briefly remind ourselves that Apophis is by no means the only space rock currently keeping researchers on their toes. Asteroid 2024 YR4 also caused worldwide concern after its discovery in December last year. However, it's now certain that it will miss us in 2032. But experts have not yet been able to give the all clear for the moon. New observations have revealed that there is a 4% probability that 2024 YR4 will strike our constant companion. And if that really happens, the Earth-Moon system could be filled with ejected particles. The dust released could then reach Earth's orbit and interfere with the operation of satellites and other space infrastructure. 
Fortunately, the operation of our subscription infrastructure is not affected. Simply click on the thumbnail and subscribe to never miss another video from us. We'll see you soon.